What's up, guys? JC here, and welcome back to my channel. And tonight, very late video and stuff again. Um, I mean, this is video for the very first episode of uh, AW Dynamite for 2024 and stuff. I mean, the first ever Dynamite of 2024. So, yeah, there you go. Say it right. Um, anyways, it was a good show and stuff, you know, and um, pretty good with you know, um, really not. I mean. MGF wasn't on there and stuff. I'm guessing he's injured or something. They took him off the uh, the roster, AW roster, but I don't know what happened. I don't know what. Maybe, I don't know, because of his arm or something, his shoulder or whatever. But, um, yeah, I don't know really what's going on. But, um, yeah, so here we go with the uh, review and stuff. And uh, it's going to be kind of long because I got to read all this and stuff. And, uh, yeah, anyways, um, let's get to it then. Okay, the show start out. It's not on here, but it was it is on here. Um, two, two, two. Yeah, it says right here the show begins with Smojo cutting a defiant promo last Saturday against MGF after beating him at World's End last Saturday. So yeah, you know he was all happy that he won the title and stuff. And um, yeah, that was it. Was it was a little clip and stuff before the you know the whole show started. So, and then, um, Adam Cole and the Undisputed Kingdom delivered the mission statement, but not everyone loves it. I loved it. Shit. <laughs> People bitch these days, man. I don't know why, man. They can get, get the head out of their asses and stuff. And, um, yeah, so, uh, the, um, uh, it started with Adam Cole's music, theme music, which is entrance music. And, um, yeah, it started with that, and then the pyro kicked off, as always, every time the show starts, and stuff, and, um, and after that, it says right here, a new video and theme announced Cole and his un and his man as undisputed. R Roderick Sh Strong tells everyone to shut up and listen to his best friend, and Cole starts off by wondering if no one had sympathy for him, you know, because he was, he got revealed as the devil. He scoffs as the idea that they are the bad guys just because they betrayed MGF as Max was the one who talked badly about everyone in the locker room. Cole says most of the wrestlers, fans, and even Tony Khan will thank him because MGF is gone and he's never coming back. Cole suggests that the second MGF didn't need him anymore, he would have stabbed Adam in the back. MGF needed Adam Cole and no one would be cheering for Maxwell if not for Adam. I said MGF's championship reign, and I also intended it. The new group is called the Undisputed Kingdom, and their goal is to win as much as much gold as possible. The Kingdom has the tag titles. Roddy will chase the inter international championship, and Warlow will go after the world championship, and then give it to Cole when he's healthy. Uh, okay. <laughs> it said that. It said uh, okay, but whatever. Um. One person who may not be down with that comes out to retort that Switchblade, Jay White, he's upset about getting jumped when he was flying solo, but he's no longer alone as the guns join him and storming up in the, the ring. Bullet Club Gold is outnumbered, however, but that changes soon. When the acclaimed and daddy ass arrive as reinforcements down the speed, Kingdom quickly retreats in the face of their new... Numer called the vintage this vengeance the fans want BCG and the acclaimed to scissor but white tells the guns to leave the ring Yeah So that was a good promo and stuff and um, yeah, that was pretty good I mean about time that Adam Cole is a hell again cuz I remember he was But and then later on and stuff he got injured and they had to um, get, had to restart I guess so now the he's revealed as a devil. So yeah, he's full on heel, which is a which is a bad guy. All right, Orange Cassidy versus Dante Martin for the title for Orange Cassidy title and all that stuff. The announced team wonders if Cassidy will have to change the way he approaches this matchup, given the way Martin moves around the ring. Orange has fought some high flyers through, so no one so one expects he'll be fine. There's some nice Matt wrestling to kick things off with Matt, with each man getting the edge at different times. 
the pace the uh, the pace accelerates gradually, and Martin shows no signs of being psyched out by Cassie's usual slacker and tinks. Martin takes the worst of it when the battle moves to the floor, again thrown into the barricade more than once. Cassie runs around the ring slowly to de deliver a drop kick, but Martin fights back right at, right before side by side ads, which is the uh, picture in picture during commercial and stuff on TBS and TNT. The challenger is taking the lead when we return. Though the announcers note uh, note how he's selling damage to his lower back. Delta and Orange exchange slow mo kicks, but Cassie is ready when Martin tries to sneak in a real shot. A DDT gets Cassie a near fall, so he heads up top. Martin is knocked down twice and ends up taking a diving DDT even after landing on his feet. Ouch. <laughs> said that too after mark kicks out at two cassie looks for beach break but it's counter into a gts that nearly wins it dante delivers a senton senton to his way to the corner but orange slowly rolls away from whatever's next or he thinks he does as martin walks the ropes to drop a splash for a near fall back and forth they go with pinning Predicaments until Cassidy connects at, on an orange punch and that powers to be the winning move. So yeah, Orange Cassidy defeated Martin. The, uh, Dante Martin. I almost said Dean Martin, sorry. Um, the Patriot says all is right now that he's still TNT. Yeah, so this is Christian Cage coming in and his stuff. Christian Cage is ready to talk and Shayna Wayne tries to keep people quiet so he can do so. Cage says he's been TNT champion for 200 days and doesn't let Tony Schiavone confuse him with the facts he admits. He went through a war at World's End and thanks Shayna Wayne and Nick Wayne for their help. Will he think kill switch? Nope. The fans start a loud Lucian Shores chant while Cage dismisses Adam Copeland and Chazes suggest their feud is behind him. Cage warns anyone else who might have design designs these signs are sorry on the TNT championship and says the Patriots are the faces of AW now and forever. Kenoshi uh Takashak Takashida impresses uh, uh yeah versus Darby Allen. Don Callis unfortunately joins the announcers for this one. As Allen appears to possibly tweak his knee in the early going, they wrestled to a standoff that even Callis says, impress says impresses him. Uh, Takashita hits a big back body drop that backs up Callis' uh, assertion, assertion sorry, that size matters. He grabs a side headlock to keep Darby grounded, and even after Allen gets free, he dives through the ropes and right into a jumping knee. Want another impressive sequence? Takashita rolls backwards down the ramp for three rolling German suplexes in a row. Sweet stuff. Okay. Um, during picture in picture, Allen does his usual cannonball to the floor, but is nearly pinned right after the full broadcast camp comes back. The fans start at uh start uh this is awesome chant as Tangashi stalks his prey. Darby bells out of a running corner knee strike then lures uh his opponent into smashing through a barrack game by the timekeeper's area. Allen hits him with a coffin drop that leaves both men stoon about the floor. Strewn, strewn, okay, about the floor, I didn't say the hard part, about the floor as they re, 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 enter the ring. Allen gets Takashita with a code red and almost gets the three. Darby wants another coffin drop, but it hit, but hits on only knees. Knees, excuse me, knees and only strikes are battering Allen, but he pulls off an inside cradle for a two- count and then another with a cruci crucifix fin. Takashita crouches home a big lariat and Callis signals him to finish his foe. Hell of a kick 
uh, leaves Allen Woozy at his opponent, um, takes him up top for a Juma suplex. A running knee is next, and even Darby isn't getting up from that. Yeah, to take a shoot to defeat Darby Allen. Swerve Strickland gets Daniel Garcia. Oh, yeah, so, um, Strickland gets Daniel Garcia and stuff. So, yeah, this is the main event. So, yeah, Shore Strickland versus Daniel Garcia. Danny Magic joins the announcers uh, for this one who inform us that we have at least a five-minute overrun if necessary. That just uh, suggests it almost certainly will be. Yeah, we knew that. Garcia takes some of the early offense and sees if he can lure Swerve into some mad exchanges. Which he does. Strickland takes the kitchen sink, but the crowd is chanting for him even as he gets sent to the floor and then into the barricade. Prince Nana is talking to Garcia from behind his back, and Daniel turns and turns to engage him in a brief dance off. Wrestling returns pretty quickly, which is the bad for DG as he takes a Death Valley driver on the apron. Strickland thinks he's in control after commercials, but Garcia quickly uh, disabuses him of that notion by beating him into a corner. A running knee is next, then a shotgun dropkick. Garcia's uh, st stalling suplex allows him to cover for a near fall. Strickland hits a back backbreaker and a flurry of additional offense and now it's Garcia kicking out at two. The battle goes on goes goes to the announce table and forces everyone to bail out. And when Garcia goes for a sharpshooter, both men end up sliding of off the back of the table. They back to the to the top row where Garcia hits a suplex, but it's is quickly suplexed in turn. Garcia's rally is answered by a flat liner, and he follows with a drive-by kick that comes oh so so close to ending it. Swerve Stomp is on target, but somehow still not enough. Swerve summons what is left in his tank to deliver a house call, and the JML driver is enough to end it. After the match, Strickland extends his hand. But it's a trap, so Nana can hit Garcia with a low blow. Danny Magic gets one, two. But just as Nana is about to say, Strickland will be the next AEW World Champion. Heyman, Heyman Anna Page's music hits and brings the cowboy to the ring. Swerve lasts, but only for a second until they start throwing him. Security swarms the ring to pull him apart, but Heyman breaks free. And gets him more shots. Swerve does the same. So it seems like 10 men won't be enough to get this done. Oh yeah. And the referees did the same thing too. They're trying to break up the fight and stuff. So yeah. That's crazy. And um. Oh yeah. Here's some stuff on here that, sh that we're showing. Um. Yeah. And uh. It says. A highlight package promo celebrating A. Keeson's, excuse me, Continental Classic victory where he discusses the co uh, confidence he's gained as a result. Darian Garcia talks about his matchup with Swerve Strickland tonight. Or, um, after the match, Private Party makes a return to put every tag team on notice, including FTR, the Young Bucks, and the Hardys. Renee asks Tony Storm, time, uh, Tony Storm, what 2024 holds for? But she's not crazy about being in New Jersey and doesn't care to sh stick around to see Mar Mariah Maria's uh, make her debut. All right, so the clip, excuse me, um, the clip, uh, um, House of Black accepting FTR's challenge is played. This uh, this time with some highlights of them beating the top guys over the past few weeks. Paquette talks to Swerve Strickland with Prince Donna naturally who talks about facing Daniel Garcia tonight and gunning for Smudge Joe's Tari Maria or whatever. Um De uh, defeated Queen on Aminata by Pinfo in her AEW 
airing debut, Paquette speaks to her afterward and finds her excited and hopeful that Storm was watching. But after she rooms on New, on New Jersey, she's surprised when Diona Parazzo shows up and tells her to give a message to Storm. I will find you no matter where you where you run, and I am all in. My May declines to pass on the message and slaps Parazzo and but ends up losing a brief scuffle. So yeah, it was yeah, it was a first match and stuff. So yeah, that was good tonight and stuff. A little more better than Raw this past Monday and stuff. But that was more better with R Truth than The Rock. So um but it was this was AEW right now. So anyways, that was a good show and stuff and I enjoyed it and um hope you if you want wrestling but whatever. Um anyways, um that was it and um it was good tonight, and uh, there was no MJF or Adam Copeland or whatever. So, um, yeah, it was good tonight. So, yeah. So, anyways, if you liked the video, like, subscribe, if you ever, or whatever. If not, whatever. Um, anyways, that was it, and uh, we'll see you all in the next video. Laters.